Yechezkeel, Ezekiel 27. The word of Yahuwah came again unto me, saying, Now, son of Adam, take up a lamentation for Sor, and say unto Sor, O you that are situate at the entry of the sea, which are a merchant of the people for many isles. Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, O Sor, you have said, I am of perfect beauty. Your borders are in the midst of the seas. Your builders have perfected your beauty. They have made at all your ship boards of fir trees of Shenair. They have taken cedars from Lebanon to make masts for you. Of the oaks of Bashan have they made your oars. The company of the Ash Sharim have made your benches of ivory. Brought out of the isles of Kitim, fine linen with broidered work from Mitzrayim was that which you spread forth to be your sail. Blue and purple from the isles of Elisha was that which covered you. The inhabitants of Sidon and Arvad were your mariners, rather mariners, your wise men, O Sor, that were in you, were your pilots. The ancients of Gival and the wise men thereof were in you, your cockers, all the ships of the sea with their mariners, rather mariners, were in you to occupy your merchandise. They of Persia and of Ludi and of Put were in your army, your men of war. They hanged the shield and helmet in you. They set forth your comeliness. The men of Arvad with your army were upon your walls round about, and the Gamadim were in your towers. They hanged their shields upon your walls round about, they have made your beauty perfect. Tarshish was your merchant by reason of the multitude of all kind of riches. With silver, iron, tin, and lead, they traded in your fairs. Yavan, Tubal, and Meshech, they were your merchants. They traded the persons of men and vessels of brass in your market. They of the house of Tagarma traded in your fairs with horses and horsemen and mules. The men of Didan were your merchants. Many isles were the merchandise of your hand. They brought you for a present horns of ivory and ebony. Aram was your merchant by reason of the multitude of the wares of your making. They occupied in your fairs with emeralds, purple, and broidered work, and fine linen, and coral, and agot, rather agat. Yahuda in the land of Yashadael, they were your merchants. They traded in your market wheat of Minith, and panag, and honey, and oil, and balm, Damascus was your merchant in the multitude of the wares of your making. For the multitude of all riches in the wine of Cherban and white wool. Dan also and Yavan, going to and fro, occupied in your fairs. Bright iron, Cassia and Calamus were in your market. Didan was your merchant in precious clothes for chariots. Arabia and all the princes of Kidar, they occupied with you in lambs and rams and goats. In these were they your merchants. The merchants of Shiva and Ra'ama, they were your merchants. They occupied in your fairs with chief of all spices and with all precious stones and gold. Haran and Kena and Eden, the merchants of Shiva, Ashur and Kilmad were your merchants.
These were your merchants in all sorts of things, in blue clothes and broidered work, and in chests of rich apparel, bound with cords and made of cedar, among your merchandise. The ships of Tarshish did sing of you in your market, and you were replenished and made very glorious in the midst of the seas. Your rowers have brought you into great waters. The east wind has broken you in the midst of the seas. Your riches and your fares, your merchandise, your mariners, rather mariners, and your pilots and your cockers and the occupiers of your merchandise, and all your men of war that are in you, and in all your company which is in the midst of you, shall fall into the midst of the seas in the day of your ruin. The suburbs shall shake at the sound of the cry of your pilots, and all that handle the oar, the mariners and all the pilots of the sea, shall come down from their ships, they shall stand upon the land and shall cause their voice to be heard against you and shall cry bitterly and shall cast up dust upon their heads. They shall wallow themselves in the ashes and they shall make themselves utterly bald for you and gird them with sackcloth and they shall weep for you with bitterness of heart and bitter wailing. And in their wailing, they shall take up a lamentation for you and lament over you, saying, What city is like Sor, like the destroyed in the midst of the sea, when your wares went forth out of the seas? You filled many people. You did enrich the kings of the earth with the multitude of your riches and of your merchandise. In the time when you shall be broken by the seas in the depths of the waters, your merchandise and all your company in the midst of you shall fall, and the inhabitants of the isles shall be astonished at you, and their kings shall be sore afraid. They shall be troubled in their countenance. The merchants among the people shall hiss at you, you shall be a terror, and never shall be any more.